Hello, this is Barry Schmaltz of BarrySchmaltz.com doing the albums at BarrySchmaltz.com. For who? Me, Barry Schmaltz. And you, the viewer, whom I love and adore so much, so much. Today, we are going to talk about a very important album in my personal history. This is the album Barry's Band. <coughs> Barry's Band is the album that put me on the map again. I was on the map, then I was off the map, and it puts me back on the map again. All right, so I'm very excited about this one today. It starts out, it's a story. It's a story of how I got the band together. The band, for crying out loud. The people that I've been talking about all this time in the present tense, it, it, it not accounting for what? The, how it got there. This is how it got there. It's a fanciful tale of, of, it's an origin myth. It's a depiction, a fanciful depiction of an origin myth relevant to me, hats off, Barry Schmaltz. All right. It's a lot of talking. It goes on for an hour, I think. It's a long one. It's a long album. Uh, kind of broke the ground on how long albums can be. Uh, all right, so let's see if I can give it to you in the, the, the short capsulized version, huh? All right, Fred Skippy, he wants the band. That's what it is. That's what starts. They're in the big practice. It was established. We're in a big facility somehow that's uh, like in the dream a facility in your mind where music is anyway we, we live there when we're not embodied over here we're over there we go back and forth it, it, I, I don't know if there's an analogy for you uh, if you read Stephen King he's got that whole thing there's a little you know it's a little like that I didn't rip him off he might have ripped me off we're all doing the same and nobody's ripping anyone off let's be genteel we're all borrowing from the same thing I love Stephen King. Everybody tell him that. Barry Schmaltz loves him because he's got his finger on the whole. He knows. He's, he's got, he, he's there. He's there with that tower thing. Yeah, he's got the right idea. We think of levels. Yeah, he's got the right idea. Never mind, digressing. We have no time. No time. Got to put my hat back on. Down, pull it. All right, there's a lot of talking. Fred Skippy wants something. Gather a band. And I tell him, yeah, you could do that. Oh, yeah, that's right. I, I, you know, I don't even remember what goes on. He, he wants to do an album, wants us to do an album, and he, we don't have any material, which is no problem, really, for us, because we make it up as we go along. We don't care. We just, we just, we just you know, whatever, whatever it takes, we'll just do it. And it establishes that they're living in a world without money, which is kind of a subtext. We'll have to go back to talking about that. Because there are many ways of measuring value and quality, and none of them are statisticizable unless you postulate some really nefarious ways or some real, I mean, there are multiple ways of coming at it, either happy or crazy. You could be paranoid or you could be an idiot. You could be both. At the same time, and it could be good for all of you and me, Barry Schmaltz, talking to you, digressively. All right. One moment there. All right, so it takes forever. But you, if, it, if you like scripted, and this, by the way, none of this is scripted. You got to understand that. Very important. This is all free associated. I don't even know what it's going to be until it's the thing that it becomes. Me, Barry Schmaltz. I don't even know. I never know. But none of us know. We're all there just free associating, making it up as we go along all the time. That's the point of these albums. We're just making it up as we go along all the time. There's nothing premeditated, and we do one take. Like Barry Schmaltz here. See? One take. One take. And when I say the many different Barry Schmaltzes, here's a good example. Here's a John Cage moment for you, okay? Because there he is popping up with me. He's part of my performance. John Cage, two Barry Schmaltzes, multiverse universe, with the thing with the mirrors. There's a mirror right there, you can't see it. I'd have to move the whole thing, it would be crazy. But but believe me, it's there. Trust me. Uh, you can maybe almost see it reflected, and I shouldn't do that. That doesn't mean you're not supposed to do that. All right, hold on. Why is my power off here? Holy crap. I put myself in shadow. 
And in my world, that tells me I've gone too far. All right, you've not heard a single song, which is ridiculous, you know? Let's get into it. It takes like, I don't know, 20 minutes to hear a song. All right, the first song we do is the Deedle Deedle Do. It's a very funky jam. You'll love it. I can't believe I took this long to get up to that. I should have started with that song right there. Deedle Deedle Do. For me and for you. Huh? All right. We're playing with Idealistic Lee. He's established that he is Idealistic Lee. And he plays whatever. Really, he plays whatever. He plays fake drums badly, but we let him do it for a while. And we've got the trombone guy, and he's there for the appreciation, which is coined the realm. He's just playing for, he's, he's a commercial kind of guy. And then you got Downbeat, who's an, an enlightened individual, and he plays for his own reasons, and we don't know what they are. And he writes reviews that he never submits, which is very interesting, if you think about it. And even if you don't, it might be. So they do jam, and this is the first time we're ever playing together, by the way, the diddle diddle do. And so maybe it doesn't sound as good. And then we do, you've got that thing there. This next song seeks to convey a quality. Ah, right. It's an ineffable, right quality, ineffable quality. So, and that's what the music's always about. It's trying to convey an ineffable quality through an emotion rather than a cerebrality trying to write a song about a something. It's not about anything, it's just what it is. That's what we do. All right, and we let it happen. We don't know what it's gonna be. We just let it happen and it's very listenable. Then we do When You're a Cat. When you're a cat, you gotta keep it swinging. There, all right, and I'll just take a shorter version of this uh, thing. Oh, 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 oh. Here's a very rare instrumental. This is called Sad Song Goodbye. Hats off to Sad Song Goodbye. If you thought Kierkegaard angst and his sadness and despair album would make you choke up. And if you thought Pitchy and Shifty could make you, you know, with the emotion there, on the time that we don't have, check it, check out their version, the time that we don't have Pitchy and Shifty style, the wrong video for that, but do it. I, very pretty song, sad song goodbye. All right, so that being said, we have a reprise of the song from the album before it's gonna be great. It's the same take. We used it again. We recycled the same take, but you wouldn't know that necessarily unless you hear me telling you that. And there you go, all right. Speed it up. That's the end of act one. It's a two act. It goes on. If you don't like this sort of thing, you, you should just shut it off and go on to the next one. I'll try to be brief. Barry Schmaltz, stay focused. Stay with me, I'm almost done. All right, so act two. They think it's going to be great, and then downbeat and idealistically talk. And what happens? There's a meeting of the minds. There's a musical meeting of the minds and a beautiful song that they play that has no name. Beautiful song. Together. And uh, it's a poignant moment, and it touches the heart, and it, it, it reaches the soul, and it makes us say, wow, that was worth listening to. But again, it takes like 30, 40, I don't know, it takes forever to get there. But when you get there, it's very satisfying. You just gotta hang in there. It's like reading a, a, a novel by one of those authors, like a Russian novelist or some long-winded English guy. Some one very worth it, but hard to do. All right, hold, just stay with that thought. Stay with me. Don't, stay with me. I know you're losing it. Stay. All right, all right. How did I do? I don't, it's technology's hanging me up. All right, hold on, hold on. Okay, so. They do a new one there. Oh, this is very important. In this song, Jorg Jorgsen, Sven Svensson, we establish that we are not from the same universe. And why? Because in the universe we come from, jazz came from Scandinavia. You know why? Because they were cold and they needed a way to warm up. Anyway, Jorg Jorgsen, Sven Svensson is a very popular song in the universe where jazz was invented. Bebop was invented in Scandinavia. Anyway, the reason being that uh, the universe we come from has no slavery, you know, and you, we made, we gave that a miss, and, uh, you know, so it had to pop up somewhere because jazz is bigger than the circumstances of its origins. And too many people get caught up in those circumstances and forget that the feeling is what matters. Not the form so much as the feeling. Connect with the feeling. 
circumstances. Connect the heart, forget the circumstances. That's why this is like this here now. We're almost done. Stay with me. Please, Barry Schmaltz. Almost done. It's actually not anywhere near done. We do another sad song, goodbye. Ah. Oh. I mentioned sad song, goodbye, because it comes up again. On cue would be nice, but anyway, idealistically becomes transpersonally on this song. I just gave it away. Spoiler alert, things happen. People come and go. It's a very beautiful moment, but it's also a very unexpected moment that now you, the viewer, will know about before it happens. <laughs> it's kind of funny. All right, so never mind. Uh, hold on. What happens there is Charlotte Lamprey shows up and she has notes for everybody afterwards and it's a very peculiar circumstance. It's funny, but it's also weird because she's a freaking lunatic, huh? And then that's that. And then it ends very indecisively, pretty much like we're gonna, it sounds like a note of victory. We're gonna get all the gigs. But you know, We'll talk, talk about what happens after that, but it, it's a moment of triumph, a moment of victory. We're all very happy, we are very circled, we have a reprise. It's gonna be great. And the kicks, there's gonna be kicks as well. If you could say as you know we'd be kicking. Everybody loves a kick. They'd applaud when they do this. Huh? All right then, there. A little entertainment for you, for hanging in there because you were so good about it. It's the long one, this one. All right, I'll do some more of those there. Yeah, I'll take off the thing. You like the white socks? I always wear white socks. You know why? It's a Friday. No, it's not. It is not a Friday. That's why I'm wearing white socks. Remember that. Well, forget it. It's going to be great. Barry Schmaltz. It's always a party here at barryschmaltz.com. And you're invited. And even if it's not great yet, well, Hats off to trying. It's gonna be great. Huh? Hanging out with you, the viewer. My new best friend. Hey, you're doing it there for you. That's right. At barryschmaltz.com. See you later. Barryschmaltz.com. Barry's Band is the album we did. Barry's Band. Barry's band. Listen to it. It's very entertaining. Like me, Barry Schmaltz at barryschmaltz.com. <laughs>